It's here. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was just revealed at the Star Wars Celebration in Orlando, and man is there lots to look forward to. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. I'm going to go through and talk about everything that's been unveiled following EA's Star Wars Celebration panel. The Star Wars Celebration livestream began with the EA Star Wars panelists saying that Battlefront 2 is EA's most ambitious game ever. This is a huge statement. Here are the facts. It's been confirmed that the story mode takes place during and after the Battle of Endor. The main character's name is Iden. Versio. She is the leader of Inferno Squad, an elite team of Imperial Special Ops soldiers. They are out to get revenge on the Rebellion for the destruction of the second Death Star and the collapse of the Empire. We'll have a more detailed look at the story mode in another video which will be out soon. Content from all three eras has officially been confirmed. This was revealed the other day in the leaked Star Wars Battlefront 2 teaser trailer, but we've been given a few more details since then. It looks like we'll be getting space combat, ground combat and heroes from all three eras the prequels, the original trilogy, and the new sequels. During the livestream, EA's representatives from DICE, Criterion, and Motive unveiled a few new images and concept art. This image shows a female rebel soldier, a First Order Stormtrooper, an Imperial officer, and a Separatist battle droid. All of these characters plus more will be playable in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Classes have also been confirmed for the new game. These will most likely be similar to Battlefield 1 or 2005 Star Wars Battlefront, with an assault, a support, medic and a scout. Class and weapon customization has also been confirmed. This is great and will allow for a more diverse playing experience and for players to each have their own unique loadout. Vehicle customization has also been revealed and across all eras, the panelists said we could see ships like vulture droids from the prequels, new order TIE fighters, plus many new hero ships from the different eras. A few different ships were revealed in concept art. Here we can see Obi-Wan's Delta 7 interceptor being chased by Jango Fett Slave 1 on Kamino. It was also mentioned that we'll be getting access to the sequel trilogy Millennium Falcon. Upgradable heroes have also been confirmed. We're not really sure what this means yet or how it will work, but it will most likely relate to their special abilities and perhaps could be tailored to Sudo's custom playstyle. Luke Skywalker has also been revealed as a playable character. Planets and locations that have been confirmed in the trailer include Starkiller Base, Endor, Takudana, Mos Eisley. We see Luke speeder driving through the street. This is really exciting exciting and is it interesting to think how this scene could fit into the game. This probably means we'll be getting a new Tatooine map as well. Darth Maul and Yoda appear in what looks like Naboo. Hoth has been confirmed. Also Tauntauns look like they'll have a significant role on Hoth, perhaps similar to horses in Battlefield 1. Kamino has also been confirmed through the concept art. Also clone troopers will be playable. There were more locations in the trailer which were kind of difficult to distinguish, but if you know what they are, be sure to let us know. There's also a confirmed Last Jedi pre-order bonus, which comes with Last Last Jedi costumes for Rey and Kylo Ren. The game is due to release on November 17th, 2017. However, EA hinted that there will be a few opportunities to play the game before this. The first of these will most likely be at EA Play in June. If there's any other information you know that's been revealed that we missed, please leave it in the comments. We'll have a more detailed trailer analysis up very soon. My name's Andrew, thanks for watching, and always remember, stay bombastic. <laughs>